migrant children in desert tent camps and chain link cages, separated from their parents who'd enter the U.S. illegally. The United States will not be a migrant camp, and it will not be a refugee holding facility. Global outrage spread quickly over U.S. President Donald Trump's zero-tolerance policy on immigration. Will the crackdown continue, or can the anti-immigration policies be challenged? During the election campaign, Trump took a hard line on immigration. This year, refugee admissions have been capped at 45,000, the lowest since Congress created the modern refugee program in 1980. In five years, the number of U.S. Border Patrol agents will be increased to an unprecedented 26,370. In April, the administration directed prosecutors along the Mexican border to have a zero-tolerance policy towards immigration. The president blamed the previous administration for the crackdown. DHS is no longer ignoring the law. We are enforcing the laws as they exist on the books. As long as illegal entry remains a criminal offense, DHS will not look the other way. But the law hasn't changed since Obama's presidency. The way it's implemented has. First-time offenders were often deported without charge and families were seldom separated. Trump was not so lenient. Over 2,200 children have been separated from their families. The pictures of children being held in what appear to be cages are deeply disturbing. This is wrong. Global outcry and critical Republicans forced President Trump to back down last week, reversing his policy after repeatedly claiming only Congress could fix it. The new executive order allows children to be held with their parents while they are detained. But law states children must be released after 20 days. The Department of Homeland Security has started reuniting families. In a tweet, Trump said people should be deported with no judges or court cases. Congress is now voting on a more robust immigration legislation, but the Republican Party moderates have rebelled. A conservative bill failed last week. The compromise bill will be voted on this week. If it passes, it's likely to do so solely with Republican support. A unified front among Democrats, but a split within the Republican Party. Just how far will the Trump administration go to reduce illegal immigration?